In this video, we'll write the balanced molecular equation. This is our molecular equation for barium chloride plus aluminum sulfate. So when we balance the equation, we end up with coefficients of 3, 1, 3, 2. And in the description, there is a video that explains how I got those coefficients. So we have a balanced molecular equation, which is the first step in writing a net ionic equation. So this is the balanced molecular, and we should put the states in here. Each one of these is aqueous. That means it's dissolved in water, except for the barium sulfate. That's a solid, and that'll actually precipitate out and fall to the bottom of the beaker or the test tube. So we have three aqueous dissolved in water compounds, and then we have this solid here, the barium sulfate. So we've written the states. Now we can split the soluble compounds, the aqueous compounds, up into their ions. So barium, that's in group two on the periodic table. It has a two plus ionic charge. Chlorine is in group 17, sometimes called 7A, as a minus one charge. Aluminum, plus three. And then the sulfate ion, that's a polyatomic ion. It has a charge of two minus. On the product side here, the barium sulfate, that's a solid. So it's not gonna dissolve. So we don't worry about splitting it into its ions. Aluminum is three plus, and the chlorine, that had a one minus charge. So now we can split these into their ions to write the complete ionic equation. We have Ba2+, plus, and I won't write aqueous after everything until the end. Then we have the chloride ion, Cl- minus plus aluminum, that's the 3 plus, plus the sulfate ion, SO4, 2 minus. Those will react and we'll end up with the barium sulfate, and that stays together since it's the solid there, plus we have the aluminum, the Al3+, plus, plus the Cl minus. So we have a complete ionic equation, but we do need to take into account the coefficients and the subscripts. So we have three Ba2 plus, the barium ions, then the chlorine we have two times the three, six chloride ions, aluminum two, sulfate, we have three of these sulfate ions, we have the barium sulfate, three for that, aluminum, we have two of the aluminums, and then the chloride, we have the three times the two, we have six of those. Now, this is the complete ionic equation with the correct coefficients. We can now cross out spectator ions, ions that are the same on both sides of the equation. So I have six chloride ions here, and then six here on the product, and cross it out. I have two aluminum ions here, and two aluminum ions here, cross them out. But that's the only thing I can cross out. Now I can write the reactants and the products that are left for the net ionic equation. And that'll look like this. So this is the net ionic equation for BaCl2 plus Al2SO4-3 barium chloride plus aluminum sulfate. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.